Hi guys. Hi y'all. Do you use TikTok? There's this meme going around on TikTok right now of people making America core videos. I heard the American alt girls love monster. It's so sweet. Yeehaw American for yay. Guys, I went to an American gas station. I think it's called Wiwa. So cute kawaii in American. Every time I see one of those on my For You page, I'm like, they're making fun of it, but as a European kid, that's exactly what growing up in Europe was like. <laughs> Everyone was basically America core. Cool. So growing up, I always wanted to try American snacks, I wanted to go to Target, I wanted to go to Ikea, I wanted to just do things that kids on YouTube used to do. And I could never do that because I'm from Ukraine, there's not a lot of that stuff here. And I'm also poor. <laughs> So I couldn't really order online, but now that I'm not a kid anymore, I'm still poor. But I managed to find a store that sells the minis of the snacks, so like mini versions of everything. So I bought a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna try all of this for the first time. I also just bought whatever I've seen before online. So to me, those are popular American snacks, but if they're not really considered popular snacks in America, I'm sorry. But I guess they have a good PR team because those are the snacks that I always used to see and want. <laughs> The seller put it in this like bubblegum box. I got scared at first when I was unboxing it because I thought they just sent me a box of bubblegum. So I'm just gonna go one by one. So the first one I'm gonna try is Twizzlers and it's strawberry artificially flavored. I don't think I've ever seen the words artificially flavored on any of snacks from my country before. <laughs> or I just didn't pay attention, but I don't think I've seen that before. So I'm gonna use scissors to open everything. It smells like bubble gum, strawberry bubble gum. Okay, so it's empty inside. Is this like a straw? Can you use it as a straw? It's empty inside. It's like chewing on plastic. Yum, yum, yum. I'm so confused. Is this actually popular in the US? Like, do kids actually go and buy this? I can't see myself just going and buying this. Yum. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry if I like say something. I don't want to offend anyone or anything. It's just not really my taste. It's like chewing on plastic and it sticks to my teeth and there's not really a flavor it tastes like chemicals or something i'm so sorry if i offend anyone in this video can anyone who tried this before tell me if they like this i'm really curious if people actually buy this to eat that was strange okay I'm it's literally still stuck to my teeth i don't know if it's gonna get out i think we should move on i'm gonna try cheetos next I tried Cheetos before, but I tried them in Korea and they were made in Korea and the taste was also cheese or something. And I'm pretty sure in each country they make them differently. But I've also always seen online flaming hot Cheetos and I've never tried them and I've always wanted to try them. They smell cheesy, not spicy. But they look red, like all the spicy snacks look like online when I watch TikToks or movies. And I've always wanted to try them. Are they gonna be spicy? I like this. This, these are really good. This is what I want. Made with real cheese. What other cheese is there? Cheese, that's the case. I have a feeling that the salty snacks are gonna be better than the sweet snack. <laughs> oh, the next thing I wanna try is... I bought these. I'm not even a fan of Harry Potter. I don't think I've even seen all of them. I haven't read the books or anything. Sure. But I know what these are because I've watched so many videos of YouTubers doing the challenges with these beans. And I've always wanted to try them, but I don't really want to try like the bad one. So I ordered like just the good ones because whenever I see those, the challenge ones where half of them are just like awful flavors plus fruit flavors, I'm always like, why would anyone willingly buy that? 
자 여기 독이야. So I wanted to try just like the good ones. Oh, they look kind of like crystals or rocks. Oh, they kind of look transparent almost. I don't think the same as the jelly beans in my country. I'm curious to see. Oh, they're exactly the same as the jelly beans in my country. So the one I just tried is blueberry. It's good. It tastes exactly like the jelly beans in my country. So these are good. I like them. I don't know if I was like more impressed with these if I was a Harry Potter fan. Ingarium leviosa. The jelly beans are definitely a success, especially after this first one. I still don't know what this is. By the way, comment if you're from the US and if you like all of these snacks or which ones you like. And if you're not from the US, which ones have you tried and are they in your country too? Mexico. Okay, next one I'm gonna try. Let's try chocolate because I'm really curious about the chocolates because I've seen online that American chocolate is really different from other chocolates because apparently they don't make it with real milk. So I don't know what that means, but it says contains milk. So do they mean that this one in particular is with actual milk or are they just allowed to say it contains milk even though it contains like powder milk or whatever they use? I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. Also, Hershey's is probably the one that I've heard the most about American chocolates. And also cookies and cream. I always hear about cookies and cream flavoring ice creams and stuff. And I've always wanted to try it, but I, I've never seen it here. It smells just like normal white chocolate I have here. So, let's see. I don't think it tastes... It's good. I don't think it's that different from this the chocolate here. I think this is just like a little more bland, like not as rich in taste than the chocolate here. But it's not like bad or anything. Maybe Hershey's is different from the ones that people usually try in like videos online where they go Ugh! start fake puking and saying that it's so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna drink just because it's too sweet. Also, the cookies and cream. I don't know what I expected from the cookies and cream flavoring. It just tastes like white chocolate and cookie pieces. Is that it? Is that what cookies and cream flavoring is? White chocolate and cookies? I don't know, but I always wanted to try it. Okay, next. Oh, this one. Again, I've seen it everywhere. It says Nerds Candy Grape. I thought this is gum or something. Is nerds not just gum? May contain egg? What do you mean may contain egg? Do you just sometimes put egg in it and sometimes don't? <laughs> how does that work? Okay, how do you open this? So it's just like pieces of stuff. So by the, just looking at it, the only other candy that looked like this in my country had chocolate inside. But also I always thought nerds are gum, so I don't know what this is. Oh, they're sour. It's like little sour rocks. They're kind of good, but I don't... I think they're like little kids candy. I don't think any adult is just gonna buy rocks and <laughs> eat them. I think it's fun when you're a kid. I think adults prefer candy that you can chew or something. <laughs> Not this type of candy. But I really like the packaging and it's fun. But I don't think it's adult snacks. It's more like little, little kids probably okay let's go to next i want to try this swedish fish soft and chewy candy and large oh it has vitamin d calcium iron and potassium oh my god that's a vitamin snack great see on tiktok and i've seen that they're like look like gummy bears or something but they look more hard and i wanted to try them and also what flavor is this supposed to be because it doesn't say with which flavor this is so it does this have like a unique flavor interesting it's really hard and it's also ripping apart if you like bend it this is nothing like i imagined it i thought it's gonna be like a hard piece of gummy bears it's not gummy at all softer than a gummy bear and the flavor is good it tastes like raspberries 
it's good it's not something i would just like go for this is too soft for my liking i like if we're talking gummy i like it to be chewy i like it to be sweet and sour this one is softer than a gummy and it's also just sweet not sour at all and i don't really like too much sweetness not something i would go for i guess but it's good if you like sweet stuff next i want to try reese's cups right I've never tried them before. They're like one of the most popular like chocolates ever. Oh, it's also made by Hershey's company. Interesting. The orange color is a registered trademark. Okay, so am I gonna get demonetized? <laughs> Peanut butter cups. Let's see. It's ha it has like an artificial smell. Okay, looks like a muffin filled with something. It smells artificial, but let's see. This is really interesting because this is like, as I said, one of the most popular like candies that I see from the US. But in my country, this tastes like the cheap candy. Yum. The ones you can buy a kilogram for a dollar, which not a fan of the taste. It's not like that it's bad or something. It's just the texture is like sandy inside. When you chew it in your teeth, it feels like sand in your teeth. <laughs> I was expecting Reese's cups to be like soft chocolate in the middle or something, but this is definitely not what I was expecting. Okay, next. So this one, Sour Patch Kids. I blame Olivia Rodrigo for making me crave this right now. <laughs> My expectation is this is just regular gummy candy and it's sour, which I really like sour gummy candy. And I expect to like this a lot. This has to be good. Okay, don't let me down, sour patch kids. Already, oh my god, there's a giant moth outside my window. What the hell? What the hell? I'm not sharing my candy, goodbye. This smells too sweet already. Don't let me down, Sour Patch Kids. This smells too sweet. I need it to be sour, not sweet. Okay. Too little sourness, too little chewiness. It's not gummy. It's soft like the Swedish fish. Is that like a thing in the US? Like people don't like chewy stuff. They like softer gummies. Because both of these so far are not what I expected. And also I really expected it to be sour. Not sour at all. <laughs> Why did they name themselves Sour Patch Kids if they're not even sour? I feel like regular gummies I buy here are more sour than this. And they don't claim to be Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> so what's up with that? They're good, but I would like them more if they were more sour and more chewy. So far, they are second place after the jelly beans for me. Okay, now I wanted to try this so bad. These are so popular everywhere. By the way, are they from the US or are they from other countries? Made in Mexico? Mexico. I've heard so much about this. And also, there was a trend on TikTok where people would make this with like pepper and sour cream or something. Everyone was doing the trend, but these are not in my country. I could never participate in any trend. So I really wanted to try this. And also, I have a cat named Ducky. He's not, not named after the snack, but people ask me in the comments, is Ducky named after Takis? And I'm like, no, I haven't even tried it yet. And I always wanted to. Ooh, they expected them to look like Cheetos. But they are like, if you just roll up a regular potato chip, interesting. These smell like, like they are gonna be spicy. Cheetos smell like cheese, these smell like they're gonna be spicy. Which is what I expected to smell when I buy spicy chips. Yes, they are spicy slash sour. <coughs> They're not that spicy, but they like scratches my throat. Interesting. These are really good. Why do they not sell them here? These are so good. <laughs> Please. I'm gonna go bring my cat Taki and we'll make him try Takis. 
excuse his tiredness, he was asleep when I took him. I'm gonna show him Ataki and let's see what he thinks. <laughs> he doesn't wanna try it. Did you like it? Are you okay? Oh my god, Taki just eight Takis. Mind blown. Not more? Okay. Wow. What a historical moment. I'm gonna say Cheetos are definitely more white people spicy than Takis. Okay, I have two things left. Fruit Loops. I wanted to try because I always hear about Fruit Loops and cereal in general. I feel like I always see so much about people eating cereal. Do people really eat cereal every morning? Because I don't think it's a thing here. But Americans seem to be into cereal a lot, so don't know if maybe their cereal is just really good. I'm not gonna make it with milk. Oh my god, they're so giant. Is this what they actually look like? They're so giant compared to what I expected. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, it smells like lemon chemicals or something. An intense smell, that's not what cereal smells like here. It doesn't really taste that different from the cereal here. Do adults also eat cereal in America? Because I feel like this is only kids eat cereal here. It's okay, too sweet for my liking, but it's okay. I expected it to be like that, so. Okay, the last thing is Pop-Tart. <laughs> so, what is Pop-Tart? It says do not microwave in this pouch, which I'm assuming I'm supposed to microwave it outside of the pouch, of course. So it's like, it's like hot cookie or something? What is this? There's two of them. I'm gonna go and microwave them and then I'll be back, I guess. I'm back. Look at this. It's SpongeBob themed. When I was buying it, you could choose, and I chose Spongebob because I like Spongebob. There's Squidward. We have so much in common with Squidward. Okay, so I don't know how much I was supposed to heat it up for. I just did 30 seconds. And it's hot, I guess. At least the plate. <laughs> and also, it smells intensely. It smells so sweet. Too sweet. As I said, I'm not a fan of sweet things. Okay. Ooh, it rips apart. So is this like a pie? I don't think I've ever tried like a cookie that you're supposed to warm up. It's actually good. I expected it to be like really sweet, but it's actually... The dough is kind of salty and the sweet jam, they just like balance each other, which is really good. I like it. I don't think I would just buy it to eat it. I don't think this is a meal. And I don't think I've ever thought, mm, I want a snack, I'm gonna get a warm cookie. But just trying it now for the video, I like it. And also it has Spongebob on it, which is 90% of the grade. Thank you. So, the video is done. Final thoughts. Everything is really sweet. I guess Americans don't really like sour too much because Sour Patch Kids literally called Sour Patch and they're not sour. I really like the spicy snacks. I don't know if this video was interesting for anyone. I just thought I should document this historical moment in my life of trying all of these popular snacks that I always see online and I've never tried and I always wanted to. So, moral of the story, my favorite ones are Takis, my least favorite ones is this, whatever this is. I literally do not believe that people just buy this to eat. There's no way people eat this. I'm so sorry. This was great, especially for me because I got to just eat <laughs> for the whole video. Hopefully someone found this interesting. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Okay, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>